Yes, the Roomba does work on carpet. You can see all the crap hit that came out of it. That's roughly about three bins full, but we're gonna go through the review and how it works. This is your review channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the iRobot. This is the E6 model, and there's a nice handle actually to pick it up, so it makes it easy to move it from room to room and place to place. So we're gonna take a test, and we're gonna see how long it takes to clean this carpet. We're gonna take a look at the actual footage of how much stuff came out of it had to empty the bin several times so that's something that you have to be aware of um it doesn't tell you that so you have to kind of watch it but the little red light comes on and i'll show you that in a few minutes and you can see so here is the carpet that we're going to clean and let's take a look at it and run it through its paces and take a look at the yield at the end okay so i wanted to start up the robot and from beginning um, from the dock and i wanted to let it run um, on carpeting, it's a lot quieter. On hardwood floors, it's very loud and very echoey. Um, so I'm not sure if you experience that, but I'm pretty sure that's how they all are um, in general. I and mean, they are kind of loud. You know, it is a small device trying to create a lot of suction with vacuum, and it's unfortunately have to have a louder motor, and that's the way it works. But I wanted to see how this performed, and it was kind of struggling. This is a very thick pile carpet. Okay, so I did notice it struggling, struggling a little bit. You can hear the motor struggling a little bit. The battery didn't last as long because of the workload on the motor, because of the thickness of the carpet and the density of this carpet. Um, so that's something you do have to be aware of so you don't get as much time out of it. I mean, at the end, it was like, I watched it on my app and it was like battery dying, going back to dock. It was funny. <laughs> it barely made it. It was like exhausted. So it got to the end of the dock and it basically parked itself and that was it. But it did clean the whole carpet. It did do a decent job. Um, all in all, but you can see here, if you can hear it, it does struggle a little bit on the carpeting. Uh, it's very, like I said, very thick and very dense. And this is actually a fairly big room. This is like a 15 by 13 room, 14 room. It's a very big room. I wanted to see how it performed. I just let it do its thing, let it run. And at the end, I want to show you what we picked up at the end. And we had to empty the bin three times because um, a little red light will go on and tell you that it's full and doesn't tell you when it's full. It doesn't send you a notification, doesn't, doesn't stop, doesn't park itself, doesn't do anything. So if you're not aware of that, it'll just keep picking up pretty much nothing. If the bin is full, it can't go anywhere. And that's kind of a waste. So you kind of have to see, you know, this carpet, like I said, hasn't been cleaned in a little while, so I wanted to see how it really performed. So maybe it was too much for it, or maybe the room was too big for it. I'm not really sure. Um, but let's just continue watching. And any questions or comments, leave below. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. It helps support my channel, and I do appreciate that. So it is picking up small pieces of debris here and there. I, I do see that. Um, and also it does, it'll slow down when it sees a big debris. And it's actually a smart technology built into it. So it'll slow it down. You can actually see that in this part. One second, you can see it. Watch one second. You'll see how it slows down for a second to pick up heavier debris. And then I'll pick up its speed. right there all right let's get let's continue watching and see how it goes hey i want to take this opportunity to thank you very much for watching my videos i do appreciate that hope you're learning something please don't forget to like share and subscribe it does help me and does support my channel thanks so much and let's get back to the video okay so i wanted to get some shots of it under the bed and see what it's doing under the, you know it's always under the bed you never know what's going on so under the bed that's just what it does it kind of cleans all around underneath and that's kind of cool uh, but the one thing about this vacuum you do have to understand it does get full quickly and see that red right there that red trash can that means that it is full and you have to shut it off and you have to empty it out or it just kind of clogs it up a little bit and doesn't do the right job so basically you gotta open it up you gotta empty it out and you gotta do it sometimes a couple of times so that's the only drawback with this specific vacuum you have to empty it out you can see it right here crystal clear it's stuff that's jammed and it won't pick up any more dirt and that's kind of a waste so you want to make sure you keep your eye on the red it doesn't it doesn't notify you as well but just gotta keep your eye on, on that all right let's continue Okay, so I emptied the trash bag. Um, I emptied this actually two and a half times, so it had to be emptied two and a half times, just so you know. Uh, and we're gonna take a look at how much total dirt we have at the end of the video, so stay tuned to that. Um, so it, this is what it is, this is how you handle it. So basically it took about an hour and 15 minutes to vacuum the room. The room looks really good. You can see it's very clean. You can see some uh, nice vacuum marks. It does look clean. Let's take a look at the yield of the dirt that came out of it. But all in all, you can see the dirt, the um, the uh, rug looks clean, looks good. And then when it was finished, it parked itself. It was exhausted, it ran out of energy, but that's what it does. And then with the, for the next clean, let's take a look at the dirt. Okay, so here we have, this is basically two and a half buckets, I guess, full of dirt. Um, it's pretty significant, you can see here. There's quite a bit of dirt here. 
It's a lot of hair. There's a lot of dirt and debris, and just generally dirt. A lot of dirt. So it, it, it does it does its job. You just have to kind of like watch it a little bit, and that's it. All right, guys. So I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out as always. I do appreciate that. There's the dirt. That's what it looks like. And I emptied out, throw it in the trash, and just put it back in, and ready to go for the next time. All right, guys. That's it for me. I appreciate your time as always, and I'll see you at the next review.